Hi, um, I'm Jessie Firth. I'm a textile conservator at the Australian War Memorial and this is a um, wedding dress that I'm working on for inclusion in the Love and War exhibition. Um, this is really interesting because it's got um, metal threads all through the, the fabric. Um, they're copper based with a silver um, plated coating on them. This has caused problems to the underarm area where sweat from wear has um, caused this distinctive green staining that you can see. Now, because of some construction details and looking at the dress from the inside, which I'll just open up now, we can see that this has happened in the past. This dress was, we know, was worn by five women during World War II um, for their various weddings. And you can see here, this line of staining is associated with this piece of fabric and this new staining is associated with a piece of fabric that was inset um, after the original construction. I know this because it's constructed differently, it's hand stitched rather than machine stitched like the rest of the dress. So this staining is obviously disfiguring um, so part of my treatment plan will be to try and remove the staining, this is always really difficult, especially with metal threads. They, they're, they're very sensitive to moisture and washing solutions we use, and it can cause irreparable damage. So I'm over here, I'm setting up a lot of tests to, to make sure that I don't damage the dress further by any treatment option I use. With this dress, we were extremely lucky that the um, the donor also donated um, large pieces of original fabric from the the offcuts, if you like, from the from the original um, construction of the dress. So I've been able to use them to set up some some tests. This staining I created using a um, solution that's I'm calling standard perspiration. It's a um, it's a solution that contains salt and ammonia and acetic acid, which are all things that are present in sweat. It's at a slightly higher concentration, but replicates the amount of salts that would be present in normal um, usage. What was really interesting and very surprising to me is I set this up to age over time, um, but the green staining appeared over the first 10 minutes while it was still wet. I thought I'd have to age this for, for many weeks. Um, so it's what does, a lot quicker. What does that indicate? It indicates that it's a very strong reaction and that um, that, the, that the copper in the, um, in the fibre is very reactive, which is why I'm wearing gloves now whenever I handle um, the dress, it, any acids from my own skin um, will cause further deterioration, so it's now very important to, to wear gloves when handling this dress.